Okay, so I know that it's a little late for Easter DIYs, but I figured better late than never. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you how difficult it was for me to edit this video. You don't even want to know the struggles I went through to get this video up. My tripod fell over and broke in the middle of filming, so there's going to be some funky angles going on in here. And not only that, but um, this is like my fourth time editing the entire video in a whole. Like, I'm not even going to get into details, but it was a mess. It was an actual mess. But I have it edited now. I'm going to put it up now. And I've got my Easter DIY finally out there in the world for everybody to see. It's about time. I know. If you guys don't get around to doing it this year, you guys can make them next year. Anyways, I'm done with my rambling now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my video. I know you guys want to see more DIYs. I'm really, 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 really working on it. I'm going to try to pump some out there this summer. Um, of course, if we're not still being quarantined, um, hopefully we're not still being quarantined by this summer. But um, I'm definitely going to try to pump some DIYs out there for you guys this summer. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy this one. So these are the eggs that I'm going to be using. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree, but I got mine at Goodwill. And I'm just going to hot glue them together just to make sure that they don't come apart. So for the first egg, I'm going to be using some jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put some hot glue on the top of the egg and I'm just going to start um, wrapping the twine around the entire egg. Um, you only need like spots of hot glue here and there, but you will need more hot glue um, at the top of the egg and towards the bottom of the egg. just to forewarn you guys at some point during this video my tripod falls over um, and breaks so the angle is going to change and it's not going to be the best and I apologize for that um, I was slightly irritated from that point of the video on um, but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know so you'll kind of see the um, camera start shaking <laughs> um, in a minute and then and then it's over after that. <laughs> So now I'm just taking some of the leftover twine and going back over where the um, egg was peeking through. I didn't want any of the color to show, so I really, really wanted to make two or even three of these, but I didn't have enough twine. Miss Acacia on the other side of the table. She's working on her own little arts and crafts over there. I think she's painting some eggs. Oh no, she's painting her phone case. Um, be very careful during this part, but um, I'm just um, burning the twine to get all the fringy excess stuff off. Um, and I do mine a little bit excessively because I like the dark brown that it gives it. And this is just a little pink bow that I created out of literally the smallest little scrap piece of ribbon and I'm just going to hot glue it to the middle of the egg. I love that one so much. I really wish I would have had more twine to make some more 
So for the next three eggs, I'm just taking a few pages out of a book that we didn't want anymore and I'm cutting them into small strips making sure that all the words are shown. Um, what I mean by that is like don't cut down the center of the words, you know what I mean? And then I'm going to be using Mod Podge and I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge right on the egg and then I'm going to put a few strips of the paper um, going vertically. Um, of course you can do it however you want to. I just did, I did two of them vertically and then I did the other one separate or different I mean. But um, And then so you're going to do a layer of Mod Podge and then put the strips on and then put a layer of Mod Podge over the strips of paper. Oh, and here's where the camera angle's different. So between the twine egg and these eggs is when my tripod fell over and broke. So I kind of just have my camera just propped up. These ones really turned out super cute too. So by this point, I was slightly aggravated, just, I don't even know why, I just, with the tripod falling over and breaking, and I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it anymore, so I kind of just, I didn't want to deal with the preciseness of putting the strips on vertically, so I just started kind of slapping them on there every which way, and I actually think I ended up liking this egg better than the other two eggs. But like I said, you can put them on there however you want to. I thought it was really cool too. Um, we used one of Acacia's old books that was titled like Enchanted something or another. And I kept seeing words um, as I was putting strips on the eggs like castle and enchanted and dreams and blessed and princess and just like super cool words so I don't know I just thought that, that was pretty cool so I'm taking this little strand of teeny tiny pearls that I had gotten at Goodwill and I'm just gonna wrap it around the egg twice and I knew I wanted to add some sort of embellishment to the center of it, I just wasn't sure what yet, so I think I come back to that in just a minute. So for this egg, I just took some of the leftover twine that I had and made a teeny tiny twine bow and glued that to the middle of this egg. And then here's where I go back to this one. I just took um, three little strands of the little beads and I glued it to the center and then I just started to swirl them around into a little ball. Um, you'll see what I mean in just a second, but um, I thought it looked really cute. And 
And then for the last one, I just took this ribbon that I got from a thrift store and cut it down the middle to make it smaller and then just tied up a little teeny tiny bow and glued that one to the middle. And this is how I displayed them. I displayed them by my um, record player and I put them in a pink vase that I had and I stuffed one of Acacia's um, scarves down inside and just laid the eggs on top and I think they look really cute all together with the colors of the scarf and the vase. I think it looks really really cute. So that's it for this DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more just let me know in the comments down below and I definitely will and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!